Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us. WeTV's new dating docuseries, X Isle, is breaking the mold, bringing a fresh new approach to relationship programming. The show follows five former couples as they attempt to end their dysfunctional and at times tumultuous relationships, trying to find closure, move on, form new and healthy, loving relationships. It all happens on a stunning, secluded resort in the Dominican Republic, free of all distractions. Exile is hosted by Carmen Electra, and leading the couples through the intense, often emotional process is Dr. Ish Major, one of the country's top psychiatrists with a thriving practice, dating, mating, and relationship expert, author among his books, Little White Wise, creator of the Cheater Meter, a phone app, the coaching series Dating 101, a frequent guest on the Today Show, Fox News, many more, host of his own web series, Sex Drive, and now featured in the cutting-edge dating docu-series X Isle, Fridays 10 Eastern Pacific on WeTV. Dr. Ish Major with us on This Week in America. Hi, Dr. Major. Welcome to the program. Hey, Rick. Thanks so much for having me. It is a pleasure to have you here. A really interesting new series, and I mentioned Breaking the Mold, a fresh new approach. Talk about how X Isle is different, because it really is. Well, you know what, Rick? It really is. Here's how we're different. We're the only relationship or dating show that's bringing our couples together just so we can break them apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. And, and that is what happens because these are on-again, off-again relationships. Talk about the state of their relationships and why for these five, cup, five couples and many others, it's difficult sometimes to make that final break. Well, absolutely, right? And so these couples have they've tried to break up for whatever reason. They haven't been able to do that successfully. And part of it is they've become addicted to the habit of the drama, of the pain, of the punishment, of the guilt. It's a cycle. And so the first step, the first step in breaking free for our five couples and for everybody out there is to admit it. Admit to where we are. Am I here because I'm happy, Rick, or am I really here just because I don't know how to break this habit? And you take them through a multi-step a step process. It's exclusive. It's the way you've been doing it for years with great success. It's sort of what a tough love approach. Is that accurate to call it that? That is very accurate because the love is very tough. Uh, and once, what I, I tell our ex-couples, listen, I'm going to make you do some very challenging, some very hard, very difficult things, and you're going to hate me for a lot of this stuff. But I'm doing this for your own good, and if you stick with me, in the end, you're going to love me for it, and you're going to love yourself that much more. With us on This Week in America, Dr. Ish Major, a psychiatrist, author, dating, mating, and relationship expert. You'll see him on the new series, Exile on WeTV, Friday nights, 10 Eastern and Pacific. It's interesting, as I'm watching the program, I see uh, Jamie and John. And John mm -hmm. says, we never had a relationship it was an extended one-night stand. And I'm thinking, oh. how often do you find that? The problem with the relationship is that there is no relationship. Well, that's a big issue. You would think everybody knows why we're there and, why, and how this game is supposed to be played. But, Rick, here's the big thing, and this is how a lot of us make that mistake right off the bat. We're not transparent about what we want. It's okay to show up on that first date and say, hey, you know what? I'm looking for marriage. I want to have kids, and I want a serious relationship. Or... I'm not looking to have anything serious. I just want to hang out and have some fun, or I just want to hook up, buddy. It's okay because guess what? We're not looking for the many. You're just looking for the one who's going to love what you're offering. And I guess what the key to that is make sure you share that so you both are on the same page. Absolutely. You've got to be transparent. And for the most successful couples in our country, that's the story they tell. On day one, we were able to just let our hair down and be ourselves and not hide anything. That's the key to really making that fast connection and moving on to something significant. With the, with the show Exile, I, I mentioned the, the tough leg, the sort of shock therapy, shock therapy you put people through. Mm -hmm. You've got like a, a wedding situation there. And John, again, <laughs> going back to that relationship, John is saying he is actually happy for his ex. And again, I'm wondering how often are people actually happy for their ex? Is that unusual or, or usual, usually the case? Well, you know what, here's the situation, and John's situation was no different from a lot of folks out there where he's talking yeah. the talk, but he wasn't walking the walk. He yeah, threw the exactly. biggest pity party you ever want to see when he thought Jamie was getting married, right? And so that's the point we want you to get to. We want you to get to the point where you can lose yourself in that relationship in a good way, and that means we want you to want what's best for the other person, even if that means somebody else, not me. 
A producer said this was a transformational journey that is both entertaining and relevant. Uh, is that what it, what it, one of the reasons that you were attracted to the series Exile? Because it is relevant. As we're watching, we can see a lot of us in what we're seeing on the screen. Absolutely. We, we've all got these issues. We've all got our trust issues. We've all been hurt before. Most of us have already broken up before. Most of what we do is break up in a relationship. And so it's so relatable because if we haven't gone through it, we know somebody who has or is currently going through it. We look at our friend and we say, listen, why do you keep showing up and doing this? You guys shouldn't be together. There's something much better out there for you. But most of us would rather stay in a relationship that's going nowhere and we know it's going nowhere, then move forward and get out there and be courage and brave enough to try something new because the new thing is the scary thing. So that's why this is so relatable. We've all been there, right? Well, speaking of the new thing, just when you think maybe you're making progress with the five couples, you introduce ten singles to the mix, <laughs> and all of a sudden it's back to, uh, back to ground zero, isn't it? <laughs> well, not back to ground zero because we've already put them through their paces, and now they say – that they're ready to move on. And so yeah. I'm going to see if they're ready to walk the walk and back that up with some action. And listen, there's nothing better than 10 super sexy singles to give you some new options, right? <laughs> well, you got that. And we're talking about the series Exile, which is on Wii TV Friday nights, 10 Eastern Pacific. Uh, relationship expert Dr. Ish Major with us on the program. And you've got to be living the dream with this because you grew up watching Baywatch, and the host on the program is Carmen Electro. A little pinching yourself as you go into work every oh, day. Oh, my goodness. You cannot imagine how <laughs> gorgeous she really is. I mean, the TV does her no justice whatsoever. As gorgeous as she is on, on screen, she is even more more stunning in person, and the cool thing about having Carmen with the couples and host our show is that the couples could relate to her, right? Because Carmen's had some pretty notorious breakups, right? Exactly. And so yeah. our couples could come in and say, hey, listen, you know what? She could relate. She could say, hey, guys, we've all been there. I've been there. Let me share with you a little bit of how I got through it, and it was a really cool thing. Because when I'm there, I'm kind of beating them up and putting them through the paces. When Carmen's there, she's being nice. She's being their friend. She's giving them awards. She's the yin to my yang, and it works out <laughs> really great. It's a nice balance. You know, it's interesting because this is just not something new for you. This goes back to what, I, I guess, as a child, you grew up in a family dominated by women. And like eighth grade, you're the one sort of hanging around the lunchroom being Dr. Phil. People are coming up with relationship questions. So this is just, you were sort of destined to, to be doing this. You know, Rick, I've always been that guy. You know, I grew up with five sisters, eight aunts. You know, my mom and dad were together for 56 years. And so I was always the kid on the edge of the conversation, eavesdropping, or my sisters are giving me the download after one of their dates, and you better not ever do this, and this is what you should do when you finally grow up. And so I was always that guy, and I always loved to listen. You know, a family full of that many women, as a guy, you learn how to listen, right? <laughs> so yeah, I've always been that listen. guy. Yeah, it's amazing what you can find out if you just keep your mouth quiet for a while and actually listen. About a minute or so left in the program, leave with a little advice. One of the things you talk about is one of the keys in getting past a uh, breakup, a, a relationship going bad that you're leaving, is time. Explain that, because so often we're not quite sure, do I get back in the dating pool now? Do I wait a little longer? How long right. is too long? Talk about the concept of time. Well, right, right, Rick, you know what? And the big misconception here is that guys can get over it quickly and move forward, and that's a lie. It takes guys three times as long to get over a bad breakup. Women, it takes on average about three months. For guys, it takes us nine to 12 months to really process it and get back out there. And so give yourself time to heal. And while you're giving yourself that time, learn how to love yourself all over again. Remember those things that you like. Remember those things that you don't like. Remember those things that you always thought were cool about yourself before you lost yourself in that last relationship because we all do it. This is the time to rediscover yourself. Now you're going to have a full tank of love to give when you get back out there and meet that next person to move forward. That's the key. Time is a huge piece of the puzzle. Yeah, and most of us would think that sort of emotional reasoning, and you talk about, no, it's actually biological. It absolutely is. Women have a quicker connection to the area of their brain that processes these deep, intense emotions called the amygdala. Guys, we just don't have the connection. We literally, Rick, are not connected. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it is a fascinating new series, a groundbreaking relationship series, Exile, Friday nights, 10 Eastern Pacific on WeTV. Featuring psychiatrist, uh, a psychiatrist, author, dating, mating, and relationship expert, Dr. Ish Major. Dr. Major, great to have you with us on the program. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely a pleasure, Rick. My pleasure.